Hi, welcome to Petty's Crafts Creations. Thank you for joining me. I am showing you some Dollar Tree projects that I have um, done using the pumpkins that I picked up at Dollar Tree. They have the little clamps. I removed the clamp and then I removed the top and you'll see why in just a moment. And then I painted them because I wanted them to look a little bit more natural like a pumpkin. These were a little bit more red than I liked, so I just added some different oranges and painted it, and then I sealed it with Mod Podge. And then I poked holes in them, and all I did was use a pair of pointy scissors, and I just jabbed it in to them. And I mean, you can use a drill if you want, but I just felt that worked for me. And then I stacked them onto the dowel and I got my dowels also at the Dollar Tree. I cut them in half so that it could fit the three of them and I shoved this end into here. I filled the hole with glue and I just I removed the skulls and I just shoved that in there and I let that dry. But what I did with the skulls is I took, they came like this and in, well, not exactly like that, but a little bit similar to that color. And then I used some chalkboard paint and I painted them all white. And then I did three different colors on the eyes and you'll see why in just a moment. So I have three different colored eyes and the nose piece. I left the mouths with white because I didn't want to accentuate those. Then I took some Spanish moss and I opened up the bag and I also got my Spanish moss at the Dollar Tree. It is uh, it comes in this blue bag and I separated it because I wanted these pieces out and I wanted to have those available. So the next thing I did was I lined some glue on the top here and I just went around the edge and you're going to notice it's going to bubble and the reason it's bubbling is because this is a styrofoam pumpkin. So I grabbed a little bit of the moss and I just put it around that like so. And then I added some glue to the bottom of the darkest eyed skull. And then I just push that through and lining it up with the holes. And I just pushed it down all the way down. So it's just like this. Then I repeated the same step. I added a little bit of glue to the top of that one. And I grabbed some Spanish moss again. And I just went around the top of that one and I'm not worrying about how it's going to lay because I'm going to alter that after. And then at the bottom of the next darkest one, I applied my glue and I repeated this step all the way. And when I'm placing them onto the dowel, I'm turning them a little so that they're a little bit like that. But I'm not pushing them down all the way and you'll see why in a moment. So I'll add a little bit more moss to the top of that one. And I'm only adding a little bit because I just want it to fill in. I'm not worried about how it's laying again because I'm going to adjust that and applying glue at the bottom of this one just around the hole because it's not going to go all the way on and then that one's going to go off to the side and I left a gap on purpose in each one of them so find my piece of branch I lost it somewhere here not a problem okay so and I'm just going to grab, there it is, grab a little bit of the Spanish moss again. And I'm going to ball it up. And I'm going to place it on the top of this one. 
and I'm just gonna pop it on like it's a wig and then work it down and then I'll apply this to the top and I'm gonna apply the glue onto that where I want it to sit and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to add dimension and make it look like it is a bush that it is coming out of because that was my plan so go ahead and I do that I'm gonna let that dry a little bit before I go on to the next step and I'm gonna show you what the finished product looks like so I've taken all of them and I've stacked them as you can see here they look like they're coming out of the bush which is what I wanted them to look like and I glued a battery pack onto the bottom and I left the part where you have access to the batteries on the bottom and then I glued moss around that I wrapped fairy lights and the reason I chose fairy lights is because I wanted them to disappear under the moss so I used the fairy lights and I'm really happy that I did I wrap them and I tuck them underneath the faces, the chins of each skull, and on the top as well. And this is what it looks like. So at night, you can really, it will really show up with the faces and they'll be different colors. In the pumpkin that they're sitting on, it looks more natural. So I'll include a picture at the end of this video to show what they look like in darkness. And I wanted this loop at the top, that's why I saved the bark, the little pieces of bark, because I wanted to create that like it's in a bush, like you would come across it in a cemetery or something where they would have the skulls stacked up. So I made this using Dollar Tree products. The lights are batteries from Dollar Tree. They are the fairy lights and they come in, sorry about my arm, this, I can hardly ever find them and when I do I hoard them. Uh, I'm down to my last three and I've got one more that I can put on but then I'm going to look for more. So that is what I did with the skulls and the pumpkins from the Dollar Tree and the Spanish moss. And I also used the crate. And I'll show you that. I used that crate and I painted it orange and then I sealed it and I also included a battery pack and I'm going to put velcro on the back of this in here so it will stay in like this. But I did an orange paint on it first and then I used a couple different shades of orange, painted it and then I went through it with some black paint and then I did that to the other side as well. Then I took this little plaque because I had a little board and I just painted a little skeleton face on it and I did the natural look on these but I brushed them with a little bit of black, left the natural faces. Then I took the pumpkin stems off of the pumpkin so it looks like this and I poked a tiny hole in the top of each skeleton and I just shoved this right down into that top of the skeleton to make it look make it look like they are pumpkins. And then I added the spinach moss on the bottom and I wrapped the wire, the fairy lights around here. And I am so thrilled with the way it came out. It looks absolutely cool when it's lit off at night. And I took the fairy lights and I wrapped them around here. So it illuminates, and my camera is illuminating a little bit more than it should. Um, I'll also add a picture of this in the dark so you can see what it looks like. So wrapping it around here, it highlights the skeleton, but also gives you the illusion of the pumpkin. And then it lights up the skulls with the fairy lights being wrapped around them. And I took the Spanish moss on top of it as well, just to hide those fairy lights a little bit more. So I'll include a picture of this as well, but all this, except for this wood piece here, was from the Dollar Tree. So they're little crafties that you can pick up for hardly anything. 
um, to create your own. Um, it takes time. It took about an hour and a half to two hours to create this one with the this um, stack of pumpkin, I mean stack of skeletons heads and then this one it took about an hour because you have to wait for everything to dry in between and then everything's got to be glued down as well so I'm really happy if you have the time you can create some really cute fall decorations for your home I will be having these up for sale on my website um, they won't be up today um, within the next couple of um, days or a week or so I will be putting them up I will post on my Instagram when they do go up for sale on the website. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.